Welcome back readers. Today we're in session nine and it's one of my favorite days because we're talking all about dramas today. Today I want to teach you that when you're reading a drama, it's a lot like a fictional story where the author uses a lot of the same techniques that you would see in a fiction. So we have plot, we have figurative language, and we have all those different character development things that authors do. What makes drama different is the fact that they use dialogue and stage directions to help tell the story. And that's what you're going to focus on today. We are going to do a class drama read aloud. If you're online, I have a drama linked for you that you can read on your own. But I want you to pay attention to how the author uses those things to develop plot. So you're going to pay attention today to mood, tone, and plot as we read. So playwrights, are what we call authors who write um, dramas. They use the stage directions and dialogue to create tension and action in the written work to really help you paint that mental mo movie as you're reading. The stage directions tell the actors when to enter and exit the scene, where to move on stage, and how they're supposed to say um, their actual dialogue. So look for those cues as you're reading. Sometimes they're italicized or put in parentheses or bolded. So kind of look for those um, cues and signals to the actors as you're reading. Dramas were meant to be performed. So as you read it, really do it with your performance voice in mind and envision the plot of the story as you're reading. So through those dialogue and stage directions, the entire story is told with the character development and all the things that we look for as we're looking um, at stories. So I want you to picture this um, drama in your mind today. Really visualize the stories through the scenes as they unfold. And think about the roles of the characters and why they're included in this story. Each character has a purpose for being in this story. Also looking at narrators. What, what is a narrator telling us um, that we need to pay attention to to understand what our characters are going through? So as you go off to read the drama today, I want you to make sure you're paying attention to stage directions and dialogue, really looking at how the characters developed, as well as the plot of the story. For your share time today, you're going to use the plot diagram that's linked in Canvas, and you're going to mark the major events in your play that you read. Like, what did you realize was part of the rising action? What was the big climax, the turning point of the story, and how did the story end? So go back into your drama as many times as you need as you're filling in the plot diagram. And as you read today, make that mental movie, create or create the scenes in your mind as they're unfolding. Pay attention to what the author, the playwright added in the play for you as the reader to enjoy. And really focus on what is the mood and tone that the author's conveying. Don't forget to click on your teaching tip for more tips before you get to the share piece today. Good luck, readers.